Hi, my name is Keith Goldman. I'm the director of Fran of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues, so please subscribe to our channel. We deal with family law issues in Michigan, and we do these videos in order to educate the viewing public and to give you the upper hand. Because let's face it, if, if you're in a hearing and you have better education than the other one, guess what? You've got the upper hand, and that's a big benefit for you. So again, please subscribe to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about the custody hearing. There's such a thing as evidence. Evidence comes from a, a, a word, uh, the root of it is V-I-D, vid. Vid or V-I-S, it means it has to do with video, vision, things that you can see. The notion of evidence is that you bring forth before the court something that it can see, something that it can utilize to understand your position. I stress the importance of evidence because I can't tell you how many people will come into court and they don't have any evidence. Uh, they'll come into our office and they'll, they'll say, well, I should win this case. And I'll say, okay, um, what's it all about? And they'll say, well, he, he's this and he's that. And I'll say, and, and your proof of that is? And they'll say, well, what do you mean? You know, what? Well, I mean, everybody knows. What do you mean everybody knows? The court doesn't know. Well, he's a known drunk. Known to whom? None of that means anything. The court of law is different than any other place in the world. It may be out in the public, there's a, a perception of a certain person in a certain neighborhood. Maybe the people in the area know about his activities. Maybe the other people in the area know about her activities. Maybe she's a known drug addict. But none of it means anything before the court. If you look at um, a personification of justice, it's usually someone holding the scales and they got a blindfold on. They're not interested in what's going on in the community of the city. They need to hear evidence and they weigh it. So the importance of evidence cannot be overstressed in this context. And what should that evidence go to? Well, when you're talking about child custody hearings, that evidence has to go to what's in the best interest of the minor child. That is to say, the evidence must support that issue. It must go to the proofs that deal with what's in the best interest of the minor child. Now, the statute sets forth 12 different factors that are associated with that and each one of different weight. So it's very important that you bring evidence on all those things. Now you may say, well, gee, Mr. Coleman, I, A, don't know what the factors are, and B, I couldn't presume to know how to bring in evidence that's admissible under the rules of evidence and that is allowable under the court rules and that will go to the issue of the best interest of the child. And to that I say, you're right. You won't know. You're not expected to know. If you're a guy who makes his living uh, programming comp computers, you're not going to be any better at doing our job than we would at doing your job. You know how good a computer programmer I would be? i got to tell you, not very good. You know why? I have no knowledge, no experience, no education in that field. How on earth am I going to do that? And you know what that would look like if I programmed that computer? You don't want to know because I guarantee you that's not a program that anybody would use that would ever work. The same with you practicing law. A person who doesn't know the elements, doesn't know the burdens of proof, doesn't know how to present those elements and satisfy the burden of proof so that you can prove your case will never succeed. Just won't be able to do what needs to be done in this case, which is why it's important to have appropriate legal representation. You need not just a lawyer. You need a lawyer who is familiar with family law, who knows what has to be proven, who knows what the court needs to help you. Remember one thing, the court exists to help the public. The judge is there for you. The judge is there to help you, but cannot construct a verdict that will be of assistance to you unless you give it the tools. If you give it the tools to do so, then the court can help. You got those tools come in the form of appropriate evidence and 99 out of 100 cases, nobody's gonna know how to do that except a skilled lawyer. Now, if you have any questions about your case, reach out. And of course, we'll be glad to help you out.